Thank you very much. Now, um, Bob, we've been talking about this all morning. Actually, we've been talking about it for about a month. I've looked forward to this evening for a, over a month. It's the first day of winter. It happened at 5.02 this morning, winter solstice. But we have this big celestial event this evening. It's called a Great Conjunction, which means your kids can actually wish upon a Christmas star. And I can too. Yes, it's time for another edition of Derek and Jarek. Yes. Space out. <laughs> Space and out with Derek and Jarek. And of course, Derek Pitts joins us now, Chief Astronomer for over at the Franklin Institute. Hello. Good morning, Mike. Welcome back. Hell, thank you very much. Nice to be back. So behind me is Saturn and Jupiter. What exactly is going to happen at sunset? At sunset, everybody, if the sky were clear, we'd all go outside, we'd look to the southwestern portion of the sky, and we'd be able to see these two planets right on top of each other, one right in front of the other one, and it would look like one object rather than two. Okay. That's what we'd see. And, but in reality, of course, they're like 600 million miles apart, but to the eye, it's going to look like they're like one star. Is that why we call it the, like the Star of Bethlehem or the Christmas star? Yes, that's the reason why we're calling it that. Well, mainly, Mike, because it's happened this week on the 21st, so close to Christmas that we have this conjunction. And if we go back in history, mm -hmm. about 2020 years ago, there were other conjunctions that happened right around that time that the astronomers of that time, the three wise men or the Magi, they saw that as a very significant star that told of a very auspicious event. So... When it Just could like have they been, saw a Christmas star, we're thinking of this as being a Christmas star. Two planets in a conjunction, and they thought it was a star, which I Well, they, didn't, they didn't know that. about planets back no. then. They only knew about stars. Exactly. Okay, so now we're going to try to uh, recreate this. Now, so the next time this will happen is in 2080? March of 2080. Make sure you're there to see that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to try to recreate it. So go ahead and give me a, a full star field behind me here. Let's get rid okay. of the planets. I'll be playing the part of Jupiter. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going to be Jupiter. And Perfect. Alex Holly is going to be playing the part of Saturn. Oh, that's Here even she better. Is. There she is with her rings. Fabulous, fabulous. And so even though we are 600 million miles apart, we will look like we're together. Yes, you will. And that's because us here on Earth are looking out into space. And as we pass by you, too, we see how you fall into a line of view from Earth looking out towards Jupiter and Saturn. Then we continue rushing ahead, and it looks like you two begin to separate later in the week. Okay, so if we don't, if it's going to be cloudy tonight, <laughs> will we get a shot at it tomorrow? Yes, we get a shot tomorrow night, and then we get another shot on Wednesday night. There'll be a little separation on Wednesday night, but tomorrow night, and then again Wednesday night if we have a chance. Okay. So is there any... By the way, I have binoculars with me. That will help, right? You know, the binoculars are going to help you see over the 547 million miles out to Jupiter. But the binoculars are also going to help you see that extra 400 million miles from Jupiter out to Saturn. Believe it or not, the binoculars do help. And they're going they to be. They do. Jupiter has some moons. Jupiter has four bright moons, and you'll be able to see the largest of the bright moons. And the rings will begin to show up, just begin to show up in the binoculars as well. Okay. Uh, this it's is a cool sight. It's really kind of cool. You know, you, well, we've lost you. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I didn't know. Bring your the... rings back in here. Don't you? Th what's your favorite planet? I've always. Oh, I think Saturn is our favorite planet because of the rings, right? Saturn looks really cool when you see it in a telescope, but I like Jupiter because those moons, you can see them as they orbit around the planet when you observe on a clear evening over the uh, several hours, wow. you can see how they orbit around the planet. Coolest sight you could imagine. <laughs> so you didn't even, nobody even brought up Uranus. I, I've got to mention that every time we do one. Not, not yet, not yet, but I'm also gonna, I'm also gonna take you to task on this. Uh, make sure my Christmas gift does not come from Rite Aid. <laughs> Go to some good stuff at Rite Aid. You're haven't in you trouble, been buddy, a... if my gift comes from Rite Aid. <laughs> Derek, seriously, haven't you been on a, on a Christmas Eve, like 11 o'clock in the evening, at a, uh, like a drugstore looking for a gift? 
Moi? Oh, never, never. Don't admit to it. Don't admit to it. By the way, come back in here, Saturn. Yes. Is there any truth to the fact that Alex will get some superpowers today? <laughs> Alex has always had superpowers. They'll just be enhanced because of today. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your solstice. Thank you. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot. You too. That's right. We'll be right back. <laughs>